Today's top story, financially illiterate globalist nonsense, as Christine Lagarde, head of the European Central Bank, is now claiming that the cause of inflation is climate change. Now this comes a week after everyone in the world died of climate change, it's precisely five years after Greta Thunberg said it would happen. So the ghosts of all human beings are still living here, but our ghosting plasma energy is still causing climate change, so we need to fix that to cut inflation and not do things like stop printing tons of money, you idiots. Now, Christine Lagarde, you may have remembered her from her uh, very incisive comments in, I think, what was it, 2000 and something, when she was head of the IMF, stating that the 2008 financial crisis would not have happened if Lehman Brothers was Lehman Sisters. That was back in the day where it was, women are better than men, men are stupid and bad at everything, women are great. Uh, we are now in the point of the world where men are women better than women, and there is no difference between men and women. So hopefully you can all forget her take on that because um, the cause would be excommunicated. But now we're at the point where, no, 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 climate change is causing inflation. All right. Daniel's number one rant. Inflation isn't coming down even if you're going to quote the numbers. Inflation is at 3.5%. It's going down. Trudeau, blah, blah. Inflation is calculated off the CPI. It's a fake metric designed to ignore inflation. It doesn't account for substitutions. So when you buy things at the grocery store and you spend less money at the grocery store because you're poor and you can't afford, let's say you would get, you know, two kilos worth of nutrition in a hundred dollars. Now you get two kilos worth of nutrition in, you know, $175. That's a 75% inflation. But if you only spend a hundred dollars, inflation is at zero according to the CPI, blah, 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 blah. So, no one's really telling the truth about inflation on, on any mainstream level. But it gets even more ridiculous when we get to the central banks. We're now saying that climate change causes inflation. How? I guess people are saying because of the ecological disasters, it hurts the food supply and thus increases food prices leading to inflation. Okay, interesting argument, and that could be true. I mean, global disasters could, in, in food-producing areas could cause price increases across the board. But if we're talking about things that increase prices, how about carbon taxing and all the anti-climate you know climate change fighting policies? Because if you can increase the price of gas, that increases the price of everything, food included, which then increases the price of everything. So inflation not caused by printing money because, you know, things have value. A pair of, you know, whatever, a coffee maker has a certain set of value. And if you work for X amount of dollars, right, but then X amount of dollars, you print a bunch more money, there's more supply of money. Supply, you know, reduces demand, which means the thing you're going to buy is going to cost more dollars because there's more in the market because the value hasn't changed, right? The amount of dollars to get to that value changes. Inflation. Okay. Why, though? Why do we have the central banks claiming that climate change causes, uh, causes uh, inflation? And this is globalism. And I'm, I don't think globalism is like a targeted thing by Klaus Schwab and a few elites, but the elites will do it and uh, act upon this way because it's the financial structure in which they survive. Because they've created an ESG score and the governments are all pushing this. So all the governments are being uh, bogarted by legitimate left-wing lunatics. Right, I think uh, I think Greta Thunberg. I I think she is a legitimate, fully believing lunatic. I think a lot of her fans are legitimate lunatics. I don't want to take anything away from them. I think they're legitimately stupid and crazy. Uh, I do think they have bad critical reasoning skills. I will give them that. Um, so I don't want to badmouth them. I think they are legitimately very very gullible. But I don't think the same thing of the European Central Bank. So what's the incentive here? You have all these governments appeasing the radicals, saying we're going to do things about climate change, which they're not going to do because they're lazy. This becomes a money laundering scheme, which the elites profit off of, right? In Canada, all the green energy contracts, green energy, go to friends of the government, right? And then there's no oversight and they get an ESG score. But who gets to come up with what is an ESG score, right? This is BlackRock, this is Bilderberg Group. These are all the major, major super wealth funds that we all, this, you know, don't love to say the least, and they get to be the ones that essentially govern themselves. This is the inmates running the asylum. This is regulatory capture, self-regulation, whatever you want to call it. This is the elite of the elite, the ultra-rich, 
putting in all these regulations, an ESG score, right? So they got to rate themselves. Oh, I wonder what BlackRock's ESG score is going to be. Is it going to be 103%? Probably, right? And then everyone else who doesn't have the money to comply with these nonsensical things, and it's just a way to circulate money among them, they get poor ESG scores. And therefore, you know, the the products produced by the elites or they have a, a say in get, you know, pushed further in the countries that they have regulatorily captured. And this is globalism, kids. So, kids, the next time you hear someone like Christine Lagarde speak, turn it on mute and put on a fast-talking Canadian Jew rambling about inflation and save yourself 15 IQ points.